I thought you were getting the juice, babes. I thought you were getting the juice afterwards. Nuts. Oh, leave it alone, Mama. Was this empty the last time we came here? Or is that one of those pop-up shops? Fashion Fusion? These are nice babes. These are nice. Yeah? So what exactly do you make? Oh so no, no, let's start let's start officially. Let's start officially. Okay, do I look okay? You are good to go. What's your name? I'm Harley. Harley and I'm seeing you do a business here. Is there a name of the business or yeah Atlas Trading Co. Atlas Trading Co. And what exactly do you make? So I make jewelry crocheted items so we've got like this gorgeous throw that i made i have about 300 hours of this one. 300 hours yeah that's crazy see i'm right here yeah working as i work my kiosk i'm actually making little pillows yeah little do stuff. you have you been doing this a while or recently so i started in 2019 yeah and then well covid hit so i don't really count those first two years so yeah this is our first second official second year okay um, so okay. i usually travel with the rodeo so i have mm -hmm. a 20-foot trailer where we follow all the rodeos and the little local events, but now we're gonna work on becoming a fixed location and also attend the rodeos. Gotcha. So like the CFR, Pinoca, TP Stampede, TP yeah. Stampede will be at. Will you be at Calgary Stampede too, not or this year. not this year? No. So are you based in Grand Prairie, or? Yeah, I live a couple minutes away. Couple minutes away. Yeah. And how do you find um, doing a business in Grand Prairie? Is it like fairly like supportive or? People are very supportive, especially that we're local and a lot of stuff I make myself. And yeah. if I don't make it, I have friends that help me make it. So we're all trying to like do a little thing on the side yeah. to become something, you know? Exactly. <laughs> so do you make these jewelry too? Yeah, so this is all got made like this week. Um, yeah. There is some jewelry that's like the stuff that I don't make, I just bring in. Yeah. But I can't make everything, right? Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> help but notice that. These are really, really good yeah. and stuff. I noticed that, what is this? What is that skull looking thing? Yeah, so we have skulls. These are actually um, a buddy of mine made, uh, clean them for me. Yeah. So he's down south, but I actually have a couple that I'm working on right now myself. I just did these a couple days ago. So I mounted these ones. That's freaking amazing. Yeah. Is that like real horn? Yeah, no. it's 100% real. It's, it's cattle. It's a cattle horn? Yeah. Oh my gosh. They're all real. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, what horn is this one? These are longhorn. That's longhorn. Long yeah. Okay. Sweet. Well, guys, if you're ever in Grand Prairie or if you're going to any of the rodeos and you see this face, please be sure to give her all the support you can because these are really amazing. Thank you for chatting with me. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Ips. Want a diamond studs? Two six twenty six hundred dollars. Just one or two. Just one or two. Do you just want one or do you want two? You don't settle with one? Okay, we'll get it when we're passing by. Mall is a little bit empty today, I like it. I don't like when it's really busy. Our energy is really warm. <laughs> yeah, guys, so if you can't tell, um, already we are at the mall. Nats insisted that we go to Urban Planet, um, our new favorite store. Look on our our new favorite store. 
She insists actually. So let's go into Urban Planet and see what they got going on today. What are you looking for today, babes? Tops. Looking for tops? Yeah. Okay. Am I gonna be getting something too? Yes, you on your budget? Yes. Okay. Around, yes. I appreciate it. <laughs> Is there like a price point I should look for or I'll go over the clearance section? <laughs> Yeah, this is a good pan that though. The material. Say that again. Choose two. Choose two. I say go when they must spin up. I get to choose two after one that's on sale. <laughs> Yeah, the whole little one, see? It's a regular. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it. Or even that one over there, say, can we buy a gym? The gray one with the yellow. Yeah. I don't look cheap, but. No, the packet kind of make it look as cheap as it is. I prefer, I prefer one of them here. Pamalika. Take a couple of these ones, please. That one here in front of me. Yeah. You have it in an XL? That's XL? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Guys, don't think. You don't like it? I like it. Malika. Take it out of my Yeah. But you have to change the size. Yeah. Looking for size, I don't know. Can't wear a tight shirt. <laughs> I like this one, but they don't have any size. Oh. Yeah. What do you guys think? Smash a like on the video if you like this shirt. Uh, well, what if it's wearing me too short? Okay, maybe see if I don't buy anything. I'll take it, even though it's in the clearance section. A clearance section, I'll for myself so you can see everything. Okay, this is it. I'll take this too. Alright. Okay. What happened? Huh? Kid section. What's that? Oh, that Malika? Yeah. She have a button for fitting? Yeah. Which button, man? Pink, exactly. It's like this. You like it, Malika? <laughs> Which one are you gonna get? Mighty kill? What was that again? MJ. King size? Uh, it's a full queen. Uh, 
Little fake plants. I get the same thing. Guys, we're now in Superstore. Eye doing a little bit of eye shopping. We literally only come in here to get wipes and tea dash oh, yeah. But of course, guys, you guys would have seen Malika is drinking smoothie now. <laughs> oh, the things that we celebrate. <laughs> progress, progress. And she's back to drinking juice and back to drinking water. So, progress. It's just for us to keep consistent. Are you gonna pick up some fruits? Yes. Irish, but like that spoiled one. Yeah. We want the almost the just ripe one or the one that ripe? Welcome back, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. As you guys can see, we are home. Yep. <laughs> and we haven't done a sit down for you guys in a while together. So we're doing a sit down for you guys, but it's it's a little bit different, right? So I'm going to be asking this lady beside me a couple of questions. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just curious about the questions. Why are you curious? I'm curious. I, I'm, I, I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be asking that some questions, guys. Um, I'll just hear her response, right? Now, these questions, she has no idea what they are, um, what these questions are. But these are questions that I think that you guys would like to know, right? So, before we begin, babes, yeah. sorry, nuts, because for purposes of this interview, she's my interviewee, so no babes around here. All right, babes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so introduce yourself. Natasha Anderson, uh, a mom, a wife, a full-time worker, <laughs> <laughs> yes, a permanent resident of Canada, but yeah, um, an individual that strives to mm -hmm. do the best um at what i do um i don't know what else that's it yeah um where in jamaica are you from <laughs> i'm from this rural community named race course in clarendon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what was your childhood like it like just in a quick synopsis like what would you say your childhood it was like for persons watching uh it was what you say what you can say is my childhood was rough <laughs> that's it straight straight it was rough i mm -hmm. had a rough childhood before migrating to canada mm -hmm. what did you used to do for our job so i was the let me see, if i can remember the job title is admin i don't remember exactly job title my brain a girl yeah me young but still um I was an I work as an administrative person um on a farm for Red Stripe. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my job. Okay. So we always talk about um the possibility that when you move to Canada you have to start over from the beginning. Mm -hmm. In terms of um it doesn't matter if you are uh, or if you are in an affluent position in your country, the possibility exists that when you migrate you have to start from zero and build your way up. Now you had to do that, right? Now, did you ever see yourself working as a janitor? Here, coming to Canada at first, no, I didn't. Because it was, oh, you're going to Canada, so opportunities are there. And so you're thinking about transitioning to an mm -hmm. office job and stuff like that. So I didn't picture myself at first working as a cleaner, no. Did it make you feel like um, any way, like, for example, I know we're from Jamaica, and like working as a janitor probably is something that not many people will do like it's it's probably unfairly i might say because somebody has to keep the place clean but some persons might stigmatize and look down on somebody who is a janitor right mm -hmm. now how did it make you feel the fact that you had to do that job uh it um once i got the job i knew that i wanted money <laughs> mm -hmm. so it, it wasn't like i felt like discriminated about i look down on or if persons look down i didn't see them so i didn't care didn't care <laughs> i didn't care okay so fast forward now um you have left that job you have done many other jobs here in canada um 
now you're in Canada for three and a half years. If you had to summarize your journey so far over the three and a half years, just just briefly tell me what would that summer look like? Oh, briefly tell you. So from working as a housekeeper, um, transition into working in a we are house, transition in working in receptionist then going into an, my own office basically that's the projection of my job um and overall i look at it at, as growth because i started from the bottom <laughs> and started growing so yes that's just a brief uh -huh. way of looking at it and like what would you hope to accomplish in the next um, short term future or near future um on that same journey so my next step of basically my okay my right now my short-term goal is to attend school and finish and then after i'm finished that then i project into getting a better job in the same field okay guys if you haven't liked this video already just take this second to just hit that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and share 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 all right guys now it's good that you brought up school, mm -hmm. right? Now, we did a video previously where we shared that you're, you're starting school um, and all of that. How does it make you feel? I am, I'm proud of myself. I'm actually really proud of myself that I'm going to actually start. It's something that I wanted to do from I was younger and didn't get the chance to. But right now, I'm elated <laughs> and I'm about to do it. Does it does it matter that you're paying domestic school fee rather than it does international? Matter. It does matter. It does matter. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. Now, for persons watching this video right now, babes, sorry, not miss not babes, babes. Continue. Sorry, let's go again. <clears throat> Forget that part. For persons watching this video, mm -hmm. and they are at a crossroad, right? Um, I know this is from your own perspective, right? Now this. Is Natasha, she's a female from Jamaica, as you guys know. Now, from your perspective, somebody in a similar situation is at a crossroad right now, trying to figure out if this makes sense or not. What would you say to that person? Look in the camera and talk to them right there. So talk to them right there. So what would you say to that person? If you really want to change your life, or if you really um if you have a goal, or if you do or if you're doing this journey journey for a reason, go ahead and do it. If you know you're doing it for your child, go ahead and do it. If you're uncertain, nothing in this world is certain. Take a leap. You have to jump. If you don't jump, you don't know if you have wings to fly. Jump. That's it. That's solid advice. That's solid advice. Now, um, as a mother, um to two kids right um i know you're in alberta so you can't talk about all of canada but how would you this because of course female and men are different like men are more laid back and less lackadaisical female are more observant with certain things what do you think about child care in alberta from like a a motherly perspective uh, child care in alberta all right let me go back to when i we just got here so when we got here and we were, yeah, my mom came with me, but eventually she left. So we had to try to find childcare. Um, I was hesitant in trying to get them into a day home because I was like, no, my kids or my child is not going to go in someone's house. I know, I know. And I still have it in the back of my head, like, you know, anything can happen, but I have to be basically trusting that they are taking care of my kids. Um, I know persons out there I have the same feeling, but trust your guts. That's all. Child care in Alberta. Yes, temporary residence, you are there. You can get here. If you are here, you can get um, subsidy, which is a big bonus. Trust me, it's a godsend. <laughs> it's a bonus. So make use of it. Don't, don't delay. Just make use of it. You'll have more time to work or go to school. Make use of it. Yeah. Come to Alberta, guys. You might kiss. <laughs> it's a bad up. You might kiss. A bad up. <laughs> a bad up. <laughs> this interview is officially you not know, informal. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, guys, we just wanted to touch base with you guys a little bit. Um, just to share a little bit more about our journey, as you guys would have known already. Big up to all the new subscribers, of course. All the persons who have, you know, been coming on the Anderson stream. We appreciate you guys. Um, welcome to the community. Welcome to the family. Um, trying to get to 6K subscribers, guys. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It really helps us out. Um, bring us to 10,000 subscribers, then to 20,000, then to 100,000. That's the goal, but we can't do it without you. What we share here, guys, is our Canadian journey. We came to Canada, as you guys know, as temporary residents, international student, temporary worker. Um, been through the process, guys. We did everything on our own, as we always said. Um, and we just want to share our journey. Uh, we are no immigration consultant, affiliate, lawyer, worker, none of the above. But we just believe that somebody out there is in a similar position that we were. And we just believe, say, uh, we're just going to left the door open behind me. Because Canada has changed our life. And we just believe that um, everybody who wants it should have an opportunity to do it. Right? Especially if you have kids and you're doing it for them. All right? Now, we're going to end the video right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope everybody having a good day, good night, good afternoon. Anything you want to say before you leave? Uh, for persons who um, get the opportunity to get to come here, please open the door behind you too. Let somebody get the opportunity to come as well. As someone who's too hype, too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> someone, no, honestly, someone who's too hype. Like, I've seen, and, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but I've seen so many persons who, like, for example, persons who I've spoken to before getting to Canada, and then as soon as I get to Canada, it's almost now like, okay, then I make it, I reach, but all right. I don't need to like share my journey somebody else so that somebody else can um benefit. benefit from it and I think that is wrong. Remember remember when this was all you wanted. <laughs> remember when this was just a dream. Remember when this was just everything that you wanted, right? Don't make the fact that you get it now cause of a change because you get it now cause of you going like a better after people who want it. Remember when you wanted it as well. Full stop. We'll end the video right there, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you guys in the next video.